everybody, welcome to The Noble Way. It is National Donut Day, and we are here at Disney Springs celebrating by heading to none other than one of my favorite donut locations, Everglazed Donuts and Cold Brew. It is so good, and it is just an amazing place. I cannot wait to get started. Let's go get some donuts. Now, I am a huge fan of donuts. I love donuts. I don't eat them very often because they're not that good for you, but I, sometimes I just cannot resist. Today is going to be that day. Let's talk a little bit about Everglades. We're here in Disney Springs. Everglades is actually located right across from Splitsville Luxury Lanes. Uh, fun fact, the creator of Everglades Donuts is actually the same creator of Splitsville. They actually own both locations. Everglades Donuts and Cold Brew is a single location. It is a one-of-a-kind concept store. There is no other Everglaze Donuts anywhere in the country. It's the only one. So if you want to experience their donuts, you have to come to Disney Springs here in Orlando, Florida, uh, because it's the only place you can get them. And man, they are amazing. I cannot wait to try them out. Now, I will warn you, their donuts, they're expensive. They're about $4.50 to $5.50 per donut. Uh, but they're also huge. They're kind of like those giant milkshakes that you buy for like $15 that have like a whole cake on top of them. That's kind of how it is except it's donuts. It's like these huge, over-the-top, crazy, awesome donuts. They do have simple, plain, like glazed donuts too. But the glazed donut's $4.50 and it's just kind of a glazed donut. So some of the donuts I don't think are actually worth the price, but a lot of them are. If you compare that to Voodoo Donuts, which is a super popular donut spot, um, over at Universal City Walk. Their donuts at Voodoo Donuts are only about maybe $1.50 to $2.50 per donut. So it's a lot more expensive here at Everglades than it is at Voodoo. But Everglades donuts are just so good. If you're interested in actually knowing the differences between Voodoo Donuts and Everglades, we actually did a comparison, a versus uh, episode where we compared Voodoo to Everglades Donuts and you might be surprised who won between those two locations. Um, it's a really fun video. It's actually probably one of my favorite videos we've ever done. I will link to it below. You definitely want to check it out because it was a lot of fun and you'll learn a lot about the different donuts they have at Voodoo and here at Everglades. Okay, well we just picked up our donuts. We ended up getting four donuts. I only, I came here to get one donut and we got four. <laughs> Yeah. Every time, <laughs> literally every time we come here and I'm just going to get one, um, we end up with a whole box of donuts. So I don't know what happens. Obviously I'm excited. I love donuts. I cannot wait to try these. We got four different ones and I don't know which one to start with, um, but she got one donut. Because again, and we've said this before, the downside with Everglades Donuts, which I think they really need to uh, do a better job of, they only have one cake donut at any given time. Only one cake donut. She really only likes cake donuts. I'm more of a yeast donut person, but they only ever have one. And usually it's like the special donut and whatever flavor it is, that's the flavor you're just going to have to get. So um, luckily today though, it was a good flavor. So I'm pretty, I think she's probably excited about this donut. Um, so let's just jump into them. I'm starving. All right. Well, since I got three donuts and she only got one, let's start with one of my donuts, um, especially because this is the actual donut for National Donut Day. So it's a special donut that they only have today for National Donut Day. And this is actually one of my favorite donuts that they have. Um, whenever they bring this thing back around, I'm excited about it because it looks amazing. It is none other than, oh, check it out. It's their official Everglazed Donut, National Donut Day donut. This is actually their logo. Um, so this is the Everglazed Donut logo where they have that big giant donut on the outside of their building. It's their logo on all their signage and everything. It's got a little edible piece of Everglazed Donut right there. So um, I cannot wait to try this. It's a glazed donut. So it's got glaze all over the donut. Not just, not just the blue icing on top, but it has glaze all the way around it. It's got this like, I don't know, icing, buttercream or something on top. I cannot wait to dig in. But I am gonna remove this little edible sticker because I'm pretty sure that's not going to be tasting very good. Let's do it. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah! Can you feel that, buddy? Huh? 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 I have extra 
exercise the demons. This house is clear. I mean, mm. oh my god! <laughs> I wish you could taste this through the camera because I'm telling you, their glazed donuts are so good and then you add that icing on top. I didn't even get any of that cream. I want to get to that. Um, actually, I'm just going to rip into this because I actually want to get to that cream. It looks so good. Oh man, just look at how, look at that dough. I mean. It's so soft. They just know how to make a glazed donut. I mean, it makes sense. Everglazed donuts, they know how to do it. I gotta try and get into this thing here. Mmm. Mmm. That like white cream? Oh my gosh, I love that so much. It's so good. I'll tell you right now, I'm gonna be in sugar coma by the time this thing is over. Oh my goodness. The sweetness level of that is just off the charts. I gotta get a drink. So we stopped at Starbucks and I got an unsweetened passion iced tea. I love this drink, by the way. It's basically like like a sour water. Mmm. It's so good. That's literally one of my favorite donuts. Anywhere on the planet. Nick, I know you would love that. I mean, sprinkle donut, icing. You, that, you would be in heaven with that donut. All right, so let's move on. We wanna try the cake donut? What do you say? Let's do it. So I got the cake donut, as always. Um, I think it's called Chef's Donut or Chef's Cake Donut. Um, and she said it's actually blueberry. So I've had it before and I know it's really good. Um, I know if you get the donuts first thing in the morning, they're probably even better. Um, I've had these before where they were fresh and I've had them before where they were stale. So we'll see. It's not stale. See, it's blueberry and it's moist on the inside I've had them before where they were kind of dry this one's not um, it's really good it's not too sweet I don't like um, super sweet donuts Steve does I think <laughs> but I don't really um, this just kind of tastes like um, like a pastry with some sweetness on it which I prefer one of the things I've noticed whenever we do their cake donuts with like the blueberry, like that thing is packed with blueberries. Like it's not just like a little bit of blueberry and a little bit of blueberry flavoring. Like it's got tons of like little bits of blueberry in there. It's loaded. And I think that they do these cake donuts with this like crispiness to it. Like you can see that like, just look at that crispy edge. Like they know how to cook a cake donut. It's like so like... It's like soft and moist on the inside, but then like I had this like really delicious like crispy crunchiness on the outside with the glaze. Man, it is so good. All right, now I had to get a new donut and this one just looked amazing. I've seen it before, but we've never tried it. It is the maple donut with bacon on top. Bacon? That bacon looks so good. I mean, I just love the flavors of maple and bacon together. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to try this. Let's do it. Maple bacon donut. I mean, look at that. Oh, look at that bacon. Oh my goodness, let's do it. Let's do it. Huh. It's so big, I can't really get it. Look at how, I mean, this thing is huge. Oh my gosh, I already, I already started tasting some of that. Mmm. Oh my goodness. You've got to try this. This is so good. That like sweet maple flavor with that salty. And actually the bacon's pretty like still pretty like crispy, like crunchy. Oh my goodness, it's a little salty. You gotta try this. It's messy. Um, it's really good. The flavors are really good. Um, I taste something. I can't figure out what it is. I mean, it's obviously maple and bacon, but I feel like I taste something else. 
Do you? Yes, I taste deliciousness. It's really good. It's soft. Um, it's airy on the inside, which you want with a yeast donut. Um, the bacon was cooked well. It wasn't like rubbery or anything. Um, the icing was super flavorful. Um, these donuts that have the icing and stuff on them, you definitely need a drink nearby because you are super thirsty after one bite. <laughs> so we got another new one. This one is Cafe Mocha. Um, I, all we know is it's chocolate and coffee and that it's new. <laughs> and um, Steve wanted to try it. It looks like it's going to be super sweet and it looks like there's going to be something in the middle. Um, so we shall see. So far, the icing tastes like the maple. I kind of. So far, nothing in the middle. I don't think there's anything in the middle. Um, this one kind of has a burnt coffee flavor. This one's not my favorite. I like coffee, but this one tastes a little, if you like coffee, you'll like this. This one um, tastes a little bit too much like coffee for me. I couldn't even differentiate between that and the icing. Pretty much all I taste is coffee and sugar. But it kind of tastes like burnt chocolate, or burnt coffee a little bit, if that makes sense. Okay, so not a great review so far on this donut. Um, I can smell coffee a little bit. I don't know. Let's give it. A, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna try to get some of that stuff on top. Maybe that's where the coffee, like, I mean, it's called cafe mocha. I assume coffee and chocolate, but I don't know. I actually think it's pretty good. It doesn't taste like burnt coffee to me. Um, but I did get all that like cream in my very first bite, so maybe just like the outside edges didn't have like the best flavor. Um, but I really like that like, I don't know what it is, coffee flavored cream on the, on the top. There's definitely nothing in the middle though. But yeah, I don't, I don't think it's my favorite either. Um, probably one of my, probably one of my least favorite actually. Um, and I and I thought maybe I was gonna like it because I love like um, coffee ice cream, like anything that's like coffee and sweet together. I'm not, I don't like just like regular coffee usually. I like it with like stuff in it. If I ever get coffee, it's like a milkshake. That's how I like my coffee. Um, but yeah, it's just okay. I think there's like a dark chocolate, like almost like a bitter dark chocolate flavor. Maybe that's the burnt coffee that you were tasting. It's kind of a little bitter. It's just okay. It's it's the worst of the four donuts that we have for sure. I think it's it's definitely not the best of the four. Wow, once again, Everglaze Donuts did not disappoint though. Overall, all their donuts were pretty good, um, but I'm just gonna say it, I had to go back to this little beauty. This, to me, was the donut for the day. I absolutely love this sprinkle glaze with icing on top of it. Donut, mm. this is it. I'm gonna eat the rest of this, and I'm gonna call it a wrap. I can definitely see why this is their logo because this is like one of the best donuts I've ever had in my entire life. This is worth the $5 or whatever I paid for this thing. Man, I wish they had this. I actually wish they had this donut year round on their menu. I wish it wasn't just like brought in on very rare occasions because it's so good and it's just about the right amount of like icing to donut um, ratio for me. Um, some of their other ones just have too much stuff on them. They've got like giant candy bars on top and Oreos and everything. And this is just like the perfect donut. All right, well, I would say I got my donut fix for the couple of months. It take, usually it's like every couple of months I have to get a fix of donuts. Today was a day we had to celebrate National Donut Day by getting delicious donuts and one of my absolute favorite donut spots on the planet, which is Everglades Donut. I just think it's so good. So yeah, it was really good. What'd you think? Um, I liked it. I like my cake donut, of course, the best. The other ones are really sweet. So if you like really sweet donuts, go there. I like really sweet donuts. Yeah, 100%. All right, so that's all we've got for you. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to tune in next time. More great content coming your way. Until we see you next time, the noble way is the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.